Hi everyone, uh, welcome to uh, another screencast on A2PE exercise physiology. Today we're going to be looking at something called the adenosine triphosphate, phosphocreatine energy system. A bit of a tongue twister, um, but basically it's called the ATP PC energy system. Now this energy system provides the energy uh, for high intensity short duration activities such as the 100 meters. So grab a pen and paper, make notes, copy the illustrations down. More importantly, it's all important to understand the theory behind this energy system, which we will cover in the lessons. Okay, so in the previous screencast that we have seen, we've seen how energy is released from ATP by the release of the final phosphate to provide the energy for muscular contractions. We have also seen how the phosphate needs to be resynthesized back to ATP in order for uh, energy to be released again for muscular contractions. Now the first energy system that the body uses to provide the energy in order for ATP to be resynthesized is the ATP PC system which we are now going to look at. So here, here we have the uh, ATP molecule. Now the ATP PC system is an anaerobic energy system which means that it does not require oxygen to release the energy required to resynthesize ATP. And again it is the predominant energy system for high intensity short duration activities. So here we have ATP. Energy has been released by the bond breaking between the final two phosphates and this is how the body gets the energy required in order to resynthesize ATP. Now the ATP PC system uses a high energy compound called phosphocreatine or PC to provide the energy to resynthesize ATP. Now phosphocreatine can be found uh, in all our muscles. Now as ATP levels fall and ADP levels increase, this stimulates the release of an enzyme called creatine kinase. Now what creatine kinase does, it breaks down the phosphocreatine in the sarcoplasm of the muscle and in doing so releases energy through an exothermic reaction. Now the energy released from phosphocreatine is then used in a coupled reaction to resynthesize ATP in an endothermic reaction. And this energy system resynthesizes one ATP from one PC. Okay, this is a graph which I'm going to talk through, which illustrates the PC and the ATP. Okay, on the uh, vertical axis you have the percentage of ATP and PC. And on the horizontal axis you have time in seconds. Now as you can see, stores of PC in the blue deplete quite rapidly as the energy from PC 
is used to resynthesize ATP. Now after approximately 10 seconds, stores of PC phosphocreatine are depleted and our ATP levels have fallen quite rapidly. Now this is termed the ATP PC energy system threshold as we can no longer derive energy or get energy from this particular energy system and we now must rely on other energy systems to help us resynthesize ATP. Okay, some key points of the ATP PC system. This energy system provides energy for ATP resynthesis for 3 to 10 seconds of muscular work. It is the predominant energy system for high intensity short duration activities such as the 100 meter sprint. A major disadvantage of this particular system is that the stores of phosphocreatine quickly deplete as they are used to provide the energy to resynthesize ATP. This particular system resynthesizes one ATP from one PC, another disadvantage. Now, as your ATP PC energy system threshold is met, the lactic acid energy system becomes the predominant energy system to provide the energy to resynthesize ATP. Okay folks, that's a very brief overview of this particular energy system. As always, if you have the A2P ebooks, please visit the pages on the ATP PC system. Feel free to go over this screencast again. Um, take extra notes if you want to from the books. But more importantly, understand the diagram that was shown on how uh, ATP is resynthesized from this particular system. Okay, please bring a note to your next lesson. Uh, if you've got any specific questions, please come and see which or myself before that particular lesson. Uh, and as always, up the baggies.